Oh. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Josh Shablon, and welcome back to Amnesia Machine for Pigs. So, I am currently paused, just because it's so loud in the background. And in the last episode, we came down into this room with... Uh, they're not pistons, they're just big mechanical arms, and we, we got the furnaces up and going again. So, there... Oh, jeez, that is loud. There are... I think there's a monster in the next room. Maybe, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, that is so much better. Um, that's not what I want. That's one and two. I need five and six. Good. This isn't gonna be good. Oh, you're telling me that it's five and six? How lovely it is. So let me guess. I walk through here, this closes behind me conveniently. Huh. Alright. Yep. Thank you, game, for proving I'm right. I appreciate it. Okay, so what do we actually have to do now? Yep, that's going good at zero. That's going double good at zero. Great. That's always what I'm happy to see. Double zero. That means double oh sevens around to keep me company, right? I always think I can interact with these things. I thought that it saw me and was coming after me. Uh oh. Considering how dark it is, it's not particularly good. I would say. go. Big friend. Uh, I don't exact. I probably need to go where the pig is. Say hi to Piglet. Come on. Heckin' game. Ah! 
Oh, no, 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 it's right there. Oh, frick, frick, frick. Ah, ah, it's right there. There's no chase music telling me where it is. Oh, crap. Um, no thanks. Um, you're, you're free to leave me, be, please. That wasn't that bad. Maybe. How's my health? Oh. Right, I don't have an inventory in this game. I forgot about that. Keep it off. Otherwise, Monsieur Pig will murder. Still here. Somewhere. So was that just honestly a pig? Pig? What the? Like, game, what do you want me? That's not very scary. What the heck? Is there another piggy boy? I hope not. There's a bad piggy boy. Yep, it's on my tail. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Little piggy, little piggy, let me come in. No, 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 I'm not coming in, little piggy. Bye, piggy. What the heck was that? The descent continues. What did that dark voice instruct me to do? Under the pistons, into the tunnels, and onto the bile... The bilge pumps, bilge pumps. Charles, please put that up for me, will ya? Be a dear. And, if the door should be locked, I will have to find another means of descent. I cannot trust him, but my path is set. I shall ignore those noises, that snuffling, those shuffling steps below me. I will brave whatever lurks beneath, and I will save them. Okay. Um... I don't really want to go down there. I suppose I have no choice. Yeah, this has been a little weird so far. I expected to have my... Compound X storage, danger, no naked flames. Okay, great. That sounds lovely. Let me guess, is it gonna break out right now? Plausibly? What is this? Blood breach version just sat down in place. Okay, sounds good. Like, they're just pigs that chase me. Like... Eh. Gatherers were scarier. April 30th, 1899. The crate arrived this morning, and I have it delivered directly to the workshop. The body is remarkably preserved, although there's a subtle yet nauseating stench of damp, of damp and rot. It is humanoid in shape, but has suffered several skeletal deformity, or severe skeletal deformity. Remnants of leather straps encase the torso, which is deformed, with evidence of substantial muscle mass and displacement. It's difficult to ascertain whether this unfortunate is the recipient of some barbarous surgery or was born deformed and an attempt to force his gnarled body into some semblance of humanity was made. What he is, I cannot tell, but I smell the orb upon him. My suspect, my great uncle's presence in his curious condition. So it can be done. 
we can reshape the body into a tool, accelerate the process of Mr. Darwin's evolution. But here, my great uncle, and I part company. He chose men as the subjects of his experiments, but men are difficult to control and rotten with sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our channels. Loyal, clever, strong, easily silly. So a pig? I don't associate pigs with being loyal, strong, and clever, but then again, you probably know pigs a lot better than I do. Perhaps. Um, that is not a way we can go. So we just go this way then? I guess? Is that going to throw something on us? Maybe. No. That doesn't look very good. Okay, I don't want to open that anyways. Screw that. Chemical transport. Highly corrosive. Highly flammable. Great. No. What do we got in here? Another long door. Okay. Well, at least I can go in here. Right? Boop. And now we go down, I guess. In the nest of eggs, through penny sixpence sparrows and doves, see all the angels weeping above. There's no more forgiving. There's no one to save. For today, darling Lily goes to her grave. Ooh. Well, that's, uh, morbid. I don't like that poem at all. Amnesia, you are getting to your morbid stuff, which I don't think is a problem. Huh. Now, I mean, this wouldn't be an game. Unless it fell. Ground. Yeah. This happened in the Broken Ascent. It, I think it happened in Rebirth. And now in this. Why is it always the elevator that doesn't work? Are elevators just prone to breakage? Especially tiny chemical elevators? I guess I'm probably too big for a chemical ele elevator. They're probably not carrying like 80 or like, I don't even know how heavy I am. Like somewhere between 60 and 80 kilograms of man meat. They're probably not carrying that around all the time. Okay, hold on, my good fellow. I have something to read. Sabotage! Bruised and battered, but alive. I have survived the saboteur's best efforts. He and I are now locked in an epic struggle, but I am driven to find my family, and I will prevail. Ignore the madness about me. Do not consider what cruel and unspeakable acts have been committed here. Find the way to the bit. Drain the flood. Free your children. Okay. Sounds good. You! Quickly, Mantis. Find the entrance nearby. The children weep in the darkness, and the flood waters continue to rise. Okay, firstly, why are the flood waters continuing to rise, and why are my children there? That makes no sense. Okay, handle. Er, lock. Maintenance access. There's clearly another passage beyond the lock gate. It seems I have choice of approach. The padlock is old but firm. And after that fall, I cannot summon the strength to break it open. Perhaps I can find another way. I like the nice logical... Wait, what can I... Oh! I can grab stuff. Oh! Oh! Praise be! I can actually grab things. That probably means I'm going to have to use them. But... Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that they actually came up with a logical reason why I couldn't break a lock for once. That is quite nice. I appreciate a little bit of reasoning here and there. Yeah, chair. Be gone. Hello. July 15th, 1899. In order to facilitate assimilation of tissue groups, a compound is required, or the cells will not bond. Disposal of non-bonded subjects must be immediate and use incineration, or we risk continuous animation without form. This is unpleasant. A simple compound of one part Brennenberg infusion vitae to one part orgone monad dispersal fluid is sufficient. 
This can be administered intra intravenously to subjects following reassembly to maintain bonding. The compound is unstable and highly light reactive. Once in the body, the Schumann lamp can be used to activate the compound, but outside the body is highly corrosive. It can even destroy small quantities of metal. Huh. That's really convenient information. Thank you. Okay. So, pretty well amnesia stuff. I have to get acid to break the lock pretty well. It looks like it's a safe area too, which is really nice. I've been wanting one of these for a little while. Away from all the piggies. Yeah, because this seems like it would be a very hard place to get away from a pig. Okay. The centrifuge. I used one of these earlier today. It's some form of bizarre mixing device for chemical compounds, and it positively reeks of foul fluids. I have seen too often before. It is clearly a compound. Some volatile bastard of two composite ingredients. I should wager I would find them close by. Okay. Sounds good. Is there anything important for me to know in these places? That's that's normally why they have desks in this game. In the, the other one, it was to put tinder boxes, but in this game, it's it's usually to put notes. Either that, or to maybe someone look classy. In which case, I don't think it worked very well. Okay. Yeah, this game has me kind of kind of fuzzled. Low temperature storage. Holding pen. Holding pen sounds awful. Low temperature storage also sounds pretty bad. Yeah. just me. Or did it suddenly just get quite dark? And quite not nice. I don't think it's just me. Yeah, it looks a lot darker from up here too. Huh. Interesting. Anyways. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to compare this to Amnesia the Dark Descent and Amnesia Rebirth. These are interesting. Their, their use of sound is very different, and I would say that the use of sound here is even inferior. Okay, so this is a safe room. Good to know. I would say it's inferior to the use of sound, in The Dark Descent at least. I'll explain after this. A warning. Inflamed it is. Burning it does. Bleeding from each hole. Fore and aft. Leaking down my legs. Blood and excrement. My lungs are in my vomit. I pass clots of my organs now onto the filthy stone. Drink this, he says, and I drink it. I did do that. Because of the changes, they ripple inner me. My teeth sneeze out and scatter like mice in the dark. I cannot find them all. Gathered what I can, push them back into my gray gums with my fingers, but the nails are all weepy and falling out. Drink it, he says. It'll help the running of the fever, because not all us can take the change. On the other table, a beast under a blanket. I never wanted to see under that, but he drank it too. He passed it under the blanket, and I heard it drink. Dear God Almighty, how can a man shed so much blood and still live? Um... So you guys are really testing with Vitae. Interesting. What do I turn on first? I'm guessing this? What is that? Is this important? Is that important? Oh! It's a mail delivery system. That's really convenient. What did that do? 
<laughs> well, I, I, I mean, I, I guess I could put some more mail in. Oh. Can't put more mail. Oh. Did I close that door? send a monster at me. There's literally nowhere to go. There's literally nowhere. I think that was just a spook. Where did you come from? Frick! What the heck, game? What the actual heck, game? It fell onto his hands and they eroded in front of me. To stumps. To stumps. Next time we will use an equal mix of infusion vitae and orgone disperser. No, no, just take him out. You can dump him in the river for all I care. What the heck was that game? Where did where did the pig come from? What? And how much health do I have or do I just regenerate over time? How did I come through this door? What? I am so confused. I go down that hall and end up here. Unless I didn't. What? Oh, I am confused. Yeah, there's no door here. So I'm seeing things now. What the heck is happening? I am so confused. Okay. There's another male thing. Okay. I'm confused. Yeah, but I think that the use of music is inferior in this game because it doesn't tell you when enemies are around. There's always that thrill that you had in Amnesia when you started hearing that almost screaming at you as the monster notices you and starts coming. And it lets you know the monster is around. And yes, it does make you a little bit more aware and everything, but also it really heightens the tension. When you just kind of see a pig waddle up to you and start smacking at you, it's just... Eh. It, it, it's not as powerful if, if you hear it, like, really scream, and then the strings come up and everything. It would have been so much more powerful, but yeah. I don't know what to think of the monsters so far. I'm hoping that there are other monsters as well, but I have no clue. But yeah. Anyways, we have to figure out how to solve this, and hopefully not have more hallucinations when we go down to the holding pens. So, yeah. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss what happens next. And in the next episode, we are going to go investigate the lovely folding pens. So see you then.